Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into my live stream. I'm about to start a meeting with myself. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey Ben, how's it going? Ben? I don't think your microphone's on. You wanna Can you hear me now? There you go. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. How are you doing? Well, I can't complain. It's against company policy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's not. I gotta say, your video just looks amazing. Oh, thank you. What kind of webcam are you using? Actually, I'm using my DSLR as a webcam. Oh, wow, you can do that? Oh yeah, there are actually a few different ways you can use your DSLR as a webcam for streaming, for Zoom calls, or whatever. Why don't you kick off the intro and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, cool. Ready? Let's get in. Ben? Hey, Ben? I guess I'll do it. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. Live video streaming and video calls are becoming increasingly popular and as that becomes more popular, it becomes more important that the quality of your video is up to par. There are a lot of things that factor into the quality of your video, including lights, your internet speed, how you framed your shot, and one of the things that influences the quality is the camera you're using. Now, USB webcams have come a long way, but they're still no match for a great DSLR camera. Ahead, I'm gonna explain a few different ways you might be able to turn your DSLR into a webcam, including one of my personal favorites. The first way is to use your camera's manufacturer's software or some third-party utility software to convert the signal coming from your camera into a usable stream. Recently, some companies like Canon or Nikon have actually created webcam utilities that can be used with specific models in their lineup. For example, Canon has a beta webcam utility that you can download directly from their site. Once you install it on your computer, you can connect your camera through USB and certain programs will be able to recognize that camera as a video device. There are also some third-party utility apps that you might be able to use with your camera depending on compatibility. What I've found with a lot of these utilities is even though they do add some functionality, they still are a little bit clunky and slow compared to some of the other options available, which we'll get into now. A second way you can turn your DSLR into a webcam is by installing an internal capture card into your computer. An internal capture card is a device that's installed into your computer that allows your computer to read HDMI or SDI video signals. These signals can be sent directly from your camera if your camera has an HDMI or SDI output. Many DSLR cameras have some form of digital video output, and so even if your digital video output isn't HDMI or SDI, the chances are good that it can be converted to that type of signal. The camera I'm using actually has a full-size HDMI output, and so I'm able to plug in a regular HDMI cable into my camera, and if I had an internal capture card on my computer, I could just plug it right into that. An internal capture card can be a great solution if you have the right kind of system where you can actually make those kind of modifications, and if you're the kind of person who has the technical savvy and know-how to be able to do that. One of the upsides is also kind of a downside. On the one hand, you do have something that's dedicated, that's there on your computer that you can use anytime you want to, but on the downside, it's pretty much fixed on that device. You can't take it, it's not portable, you can't use it on another computer or a laptop or something like that. If you want something that can accomplish the same thing but is portable, then I'd recommend an external capture card. An external capture card basically does the same thing an internal capture card can do, except that it's portable. With an external capture card, you typically have an input like an HDMI or SDI or sometimes even both, and some kind of output that can plug directly into your computer like a USB. For a long time, I used the Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, and this worked really well for me with a couple of bugs. It's got an HDMI and an SDI input, and so it can accept either one of those from the camera. And this particular one has a Thunderbolt output that I can plug directly into my Mac. With this one, you did have to download a utility and tell it which of the inputs you were using it didn't detect that automatically, which I think would have been a great feature. And what I found was that often I was having to do some kind of combination of things like unplugging and replugging, turning off a program, reopening it, turning off my computer, doing a little bit of a dance, and then it would work. And when it worked, it was great, but as much video as I do, I needed something that was really reliable. 
So recently I switched to using the Elgato Camlink 4K. This thing is awesome. Now it's got a full size HDMI input, which works perfectly with my camera because my camera has a full size HDMI output. And so I run the HDMI from my camera to this, and then I just plug it into the USB port and it's ready to go. I don't have to download any software. I didn't have to install anything. My computer immediately recognized this as a video source. So as soon as I plug this in, I can open up any video program and I can see my camera right there. Now these are a little bit difficult to find right now. I actually purchased mine off of eBay, but it's worth spending the time to look for it. And they're only a little bit more than $100, which for the ease of use and being able to use my DSLR camera in 4K resolution, it's totally worth it. If you're looking for information about how to do live streaming, we've actually made a couple of videos on this channel. One that talks about how to live stream through YouTube and one that talks about how to live stream through OBS. I hope this information was helpful for you. I know I leaned pretty heavily on the cam link, but honestly, I think right now for practically any DSLR, this is gonna be your best bet. It's gonna be the easiest way to get beautiful DSLR video quality into your computer recognized as a webcam. So definitely check this out if you can. And I wanna hear from you. Are there methods that you've used to stream with your DSLR that I didn't mention in this video or that you highly recommend that you think is even better than the cam link? Let me know about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.